Okay, so um, I mean stacks have a lot of different applications. Anytime you want to reverse something, you could use a stack. You put it in, and when you take it out, it'll be in the reverse order. Function calls are processed on the runtime stack, right? If you jump out to a function, it'll push everything from main onto the, a stack. And then when your function ends, it'll pop everything off the stack to go back and find out where it is. Um, another thing that it's used for with compilers is evaluating expressions. And that's what we're going to use in project two. So um, the first thing that I want to show you here is um, what we're used to seeing for mathematical expressions is what's called infix notation, where the operator is inside of the operands, and that's generally how we write expressions. Um, there's another um, type of expression which is called prefix notation or Polish notation. It has to do with a Polish mathematician that invented it, um, where the operator is in front of the operands. And then there is what's referred to as post-fix -no um, notation or reverse Polish notation, where you write the operator after the expression. And you might be like, well, why is that important? Um, what we're going to do with Project 2 is we are going to take an expression that we're used to writing, a mathematical expression, and we're going to use two algorithms in order to evaluate that expression. Um, so I know you could say C out 2 plus 3, but what would be the fun in that? So this is going to allow you to um, read an expression in from the user, and then we're going to use two algorithms in order to um, evaluate it. And the way it works is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take in an infix expression and convert it to postfix. And once you get it into postfix, it can easily be evaluated, and it's a two-step process. The, so at this point, we're just going to use this algorithm right here to take an infix expression and put it into postfix. And after we get this process down, there will be a second algorithm, which is right here, to evaluate a postfix expression. So let, let's start um, right here. On the right hand side you can see I have some infix expressions and I'm going to be showing you how the algorithm works and what they look like when they're completed in postfix. And keep in mind when they're completed in postfix they're not going to be evaluated yet they're just going to be in postfix. Um, so a couple of things you're going to each time um, you're going to initialize a stack of characters Right, so you have a, a stack and it's going to be characters, and you can do that because you know stack is a template class um, that's going to hold operators and left parentheses. So that's part of it. A left parenthesis will always be considered to have a lower priority than all other operators, and um, you'll see in our current project, in addition to these operators, um, we're going to incorporate. Um, an exponent operator as well. And I know that's not C++, but we can do it here if we want. Um, OK. So I'm going to go through some examples and show you how the algorithm works. So um, and then I'm going to talk about you know how to determine the priority, but I'm going to probably break this into a couple videos. So when we talk about the next input, we're just talking about the infix expression. So in this case right now, um, one would be the next input. Um, oops, sorry. It's going to take me a while to. Yeah, I thought I could maybe highlight that, but I guess not. Okay. So. Um, you just look here. Is it a left parenthesis? No. Is it a number or a variable? I'm not going to use variables right now, so I'll just say is it a number? Yes. Write that to the output. That just means it goes into the postfix expression. Okay. And then once you do that, the if else leaves while well, there's more expression to read. So there is. There's a plus sign coming next. Um, and let's, we're not going to worry about the spacing in here yet. If there's a space, you just can look at the next part of the expression. 
All right, so is it a left parenthesis? No. Is it a number? No, because we're looking at the plus right now. Uh, is it a right parenthesis? No. Is it an operator? Yes. If the stack is empty, well, we don't have anything on the stack, so all you do is you push the operator on the stack. So here's my stack right here. And then we go through again, and the next thing that we have is a 3. Right? It's not a left parenthesis, it's a number or a variable, so we just write it to the output, it means put it in the postfix expression, and then we go through our do while loop again. The next thing we have is multiplication. So again, it's not a left parenthesis, it's not a number, it's not a right parenthesis, it's an operator. So if the stack is empty, no it's not, it's got a plus on it. So if the top of the stack has a lower priority, oops, sorry, than the operator, right? Uh, the plus is on top of the stack. It has a lower priority than multiplication. So what we're going to do in that case um, is we're just going to push the operator on the stack. So, right, our multiplication now is on the stack. And now we've got 4, which is a number, so we know we just write that here. Oops, and now we've reached the end of the output. So while there's more expression to read, no. So we print and pop any remaining operators on the stack. So we've got multiplication. We're going to pop that and put it in the postfix. And then we have addition. We're going to pop that and put it into postfix. And that's what that expression here would look like in postfix. Okay. So now I'm going to do another example. And again, I've got a stack, and I'm going to start. So first thing is a 2. That's easy. That goes to postfix. Then we've got multiplication is an operator. Our stack's empty. We just push it on the stack. Then we've got a 3. That goes into postfix. Then we've got a minus. All right, so is the stack empty? No. Is the top of the stack has a lower priority than the operator? That is not true. The top of the stack is multiplication, and we're looking at subtraction. So we come into here. We pop the top element from the stack. We write it to the output. Um, and while the stack is not empty, and the top element has a higher or the same priority. Well, right now the top of the stack is empty. We just took everything off it. So we just push that new element, the minus, on the stack. Now we've got 4. So we know that 4 just gets put into postfix. Now we have multiplication. Our stack's not empty. The top of the stack has a lower priority. That's true. Subtraction has a lower priority than multiplication. Um, so we're going to push the operator on the stack. And the next thing we have is 5. That goes here. And now we reach the end of the expression, so print and pop any remaining operators. So we pop the multiplication. That comes on here. And then we pop the subtraction. And that goes right here. So if you think about what's happening in this example, the operators are kind of getting closer to what they're supposed to be operated on, right? Like the 2 and 3 are supposed to get multiplied first, then the 4 and 5, and then the subtraction. So this is getting it closer to an order that will help us evaluate, okay? Um, let's come down to this next example. Oh, my numbering is off, isn't it? Okay, I'll fix my numbers. Okay. All right. Um, so we start left parentheses. Remember, that is the lowest priority. So if it's a left parentheses, we just push it on the stack. Um, then we have 3 as a number, right? That just goes into postfix. Sorry. Then we've got plus. That's an operator. Is the stack empty? No, it's got left parentheses on it. Is the top of the stack a lower priority? Yes. Left parenthesis is lower than plus, so we just push it on the stack. 
Um, and then our next app, it, we have four, right? So the four is going to just go here. And then we have a right parenthesis. All right, so if it's a right parenthesis, pop the top element from the stack and write it to the output. So the top element is this plus right here. And we write it here so it goes into our postfix. While the top is not a left parenthesis. Well, right now it is a left parenthesis. And then we just pop this from the stack. Right? See right here? Pop it from the stack. So what happens in going from infix to postfix, we also get rid of parentheses. So next is multiplication. Our stack is empty, so we push it on the stack. And then we've got a 5. And then we're done with our expression, so we print and pop. And that goes there. Okay. All right, let's look at another example. So I want to kind of go through these so you really understand um, the algorithm. So, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna post this so I want to make sure my numbers are right. Okay, left parentheses, right? That gets pushed on the stack. Then we have a two. Then plus is lower than this, so that gets pushed on top of the stack. Then we have a four. Then we have a, a right parentheses. So if you remember, if you have a right parentheses, um, pop the top element from the stack. Well, it's not a left parentheses, right? So we're going to pop this guy and right here. And then when you're all done, you pop the left parentheses. So that's going to be gone. Um, and then we have division. Well, at that point, the stack is empty, so push it on. And then we have a 3. And then we have multiplication. So this one's kind of a tricky question. What do we do here? Is the stack empty? No. The top of the stack has a lower priority. No. Multiplication is the same as division. Um, so pop the top element from the stack, write it to the output. Oops, that was my division. Okay. Um, and well, I guess that's not too hard after all. Well, the top the stack is not empty, right? So now the stack is empty. So that do while loop is left, and we push that on the stack. And then we have five, and that's the end of our expression. So we're just going to pop this and put it on the stack. Okay. All right, another example. I'm going to get two more and try and. Okay, uh, this will be pretty easy on this one. We've got two. We've got the empty stack. So oh, I lost my stack here. So this is my stack, right? Uh, I'm going to push this on the stack. Then I've got three. Then I've got multiplication, right? So what happens with that? The stack's not empty. The top of the stack has a lower priority. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to pop this off of the stack. Okay. And put it in my postfix. And then I'm going to push that multiplication on the stack. And then I've got two next, so that's going to go there. And then I'm going to pop that multiplication off the stack. Okay, and I'm going to do one more example uh, here. Just so you can see nested parentheses. I'm running out of my time limit, so this is going to be quick. Left parenthesis gets on the stack. Another left parenthesis gets pushed on the stack. Then I've got my one. Then my plus, uh, the top of the stack is a lower priority than plus, so we push that. Then we've got two, then we've got a right parenthesis, so we're going to pop the plus, and then we're going to take off the left parenthesis. And now we've got another plus that has a higher priority than the top of the stack, and then we've got a five. 
and then we've got a right parenthesis. So we're going to pop this. And pop this. And then we've got division. Now the stack is empty. And then we've got a two. And then we're going to pop and display. OK. So now all of these infix expression have postfix expression. And we're going to use these in the second step. So I'll post this and I'll post this.